All right, guys, so we got our Moto Bacane Hardtail 429 HT on the stand. Got the rear wheel out. We need to change the tube in here. Um, also, too, found that we got a broken spoke. So uh, I got this spare. Hopefully, it's the right length. I'm going to go ahead and try to get a tube in here. Probably got to pull this cassette off and uh, change out this spoke. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to be using our uh, Cyclist Bike Toolkit. Uh, we had got this a while back. Did an unboxing review. You can check out that video. So we're going to be uh, checking this toolkit out. Seems pretty complete. It's got the little different sockets and stuff. So uh, here we go. All right, so we got our uh, cassette tool in here. Got to get our chain whip on so we could uh, break this loose here. Half inch rent, uh, socket, not half inch socket, half inch um, ratchet. Not very tight. Well, it seemed to work pretty good. The fitment on that socket seemed good. I'm gonna take this lock ring off. Set off here. So before you pull your spoke out, just see how it orientates over the other spoke. So this one's gonna go over and then under, under. Okay, so over, under, under, and it looks like it's gonna get fed from the outside of the hub. So we'll go ahead and uh, get this guy. You could actually do this with the tire on if you're careful. Just unscrew that, make sure the nipple doesn't fall into the wheel. Uh, let's take our new spoke. Compare it to our, our old one. Hopefully it's somewhat close here. Looks pretty close. Got our old spoke out. We're gonna try to get this new spoke in here. <clears throat> I've seen some guys where you could kind of bend them out of the way. If you could kind of bend it so that it's curved a little bit. You don't wanna put a sharp kink in it. But you could bend it so it kind of has a little radius and then it'll help you uh, feed it around these other spokes here. This is just a temporary fix. You know, if you have multiple broken spokes, you probably should relace your wheel. But I don't ride too often and don't ride too hard, so that should probably be okay. So go ahead and uh, feed that around like that. Just kind of work it in there. So it was going to go under, under, and then so we got it under this spoke, under this spoke, and then going to go over this spoke. And then I'll uh, bring you guys over here. Now we got to get it, try to try to get it to thread into this nipple here. Again, don't want the nipple to fall into the rim kind of wiggle the spoke while you twist the now I am going to be taking this tire off so if you're going to be changing the tire while you're doing this, you might as well do it that way and make it easier, but I'm kind of trying to show you guys how to do this on the on the fly here. Get 
that spoke started. Want to make sure you don't cross thread it. All right, I think we're in. Take our and then from our tool kit, we got our little spoke wrench here. You can go ahead and uh, find the one that fits our spoke. Maybe a number two. Looks a little boogered up, or the nipple. Just gonna run that down, take the tension off. Don't want to go too tight. You don't want to throw the that should be good. There we go. Got a new spoke in. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put our cassette on. So uh, looking at this cassette, there is, it looks like a wider, one wider tooth. So we need to find that and line it up in the correct spot. I think it's up here. This one, this little uh, cog or whatever is wider. So we're gonna line it up with this. There we go, slide that on. I was having a little issue. I was like, how come it ain't going on? Because I didn't have it lined up correctly. So same thing here. You need to find the, the wider one. And it should just sit. It's not too much wider. It's actually a little hard to see. There we go. Okay. Then you're going to take your little lock ring here. Thread that on, make sure you don't get it cross-threaded. Sometimes what helps to thread stuff on is go backwards a little bit. Oh, I hear my, uh, my assistant is waking up. Might actually use the, use the sprocket tool to help. There we go, line it up. go and then with this you don't need to use the chain whip just hold the tire and there we go well my business partner woke up what's up papa it's okay here you want your chupi oh let's see oh mama had to go run some errands hanging out with daddy outside Want to say hi to YouTube? Say hi, guys. Support my daddy. Like and subscribe. Okay. All right, guys. I might have to uh, pick them up. It's kind of why these projects take a little longer than expected. But you know what? This is the most important project right here. All right. I think little guy's good to go. You going to let daddy do some work? Huh? You going to hang out? Yeah? Go work? All right, we got our new tube in, fix that spoke, put the wheel back in the bike. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lube this chain while we're here. Got a little uh, finish line dry, dry lube. Give it a little shake. All right, so we got our uh, hard tail Motobicane kind of dialed in, tuned up. A new tube in the back, new spoke. Lubed up the chain, looped up the cables. Got it all working pretty good. Just trying to get these bikes ready for summer. You know. Now up next is the Trek. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing uh, taken apart.